from Amy's Resin Corner. Um, you'll notice I have, um, I've got a cold. I'm going to have to go to the doctor tomorrow. Okay, my quote for this video is, let your light shine. Okay, now, what I, I'm going to do the skull, like I said in the last one, last video. I went on and I just wrapped it around my finger, the fairy lights around my finger like this, pulled them out, and then kept doing it till I got the whole thing done. Then I just rounded it in here, shoved it down in there, and that's pretty much what we have there. I'm going to turn the light out. You can see, oops, you can see it's glowing. Now, what I'm going to do, for, I'm, well, I'm going to wait on them. Okay, I don't know which one of these reds are the reddest. This one is Let's Resin Resin Dye Ruby Red. Shake before use. So, if my camera is shaking, it's because I'm shaking it. Okay. Let's see. Look, look good lord. That was three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll put ten of them in. I'll probably wind up doing more. And I'm going to see if I have to put this in. I just don't think 10 drops is going to be all for this 8 ounces. Not that worried about bubbles right now. I'm just worried about this color. Cause good Lord help me, there is all kinds of bubbles up in there. Here comes one now. Sure. Pop. Okay. Two. Okay, that's 10 drops of the bright red on resin dye. Excuse me. Oh, good Lord. getting a little darker but see it's nowhere near the dark that I want it I have coffee here let me squirt a pinch of it in there put one drop of coffee two drops two drops of coffee and that was a uh, Sigwong coffee and if you do by any chance, get the seek one. You might have to be careful with it because these have leaked on me so badly. I put them in a coffee can, and every time I go to get one, I have to wipe it off. Yes, I've got them in a coffee can. I've got to get me another system built here for my inks, but I'm not going to do that until I finish getting the inside walls put up right. I was gonna put black, but that was dark, so we'll just try it. It's getting darker. Oh, no. Don't put brown. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try this bright red and other again. That's five of them. Good Lord. And then there's five of the ruby red going back in. So that's 15 a piece of them.
normally I like I like putting in my if it's oh lord if it's mica powder I like putting it in first and I started to use mica powder but I wanted this to be kind of clear And you can see what color it's looking there. That's just not the red I want. Uh, so that's 20 of the ruby red. 15. Um of the bright red and two of that coffee. I have to say it, I put it in there even though I shouldn't have. Oh, that's redder. Okay, well from here you can see I don't know if you can see what you see from there, but it does at least have a red tint now. And I, I'm scared I'm going to put too much of the red in. So I'm just going... I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of... I didn't put much of the... Um, oh, Lord, y'all see it glitter. So I won't glitter around it. So maybe we'll uh, get some extra shine or something in it. And here we go. I'm going to pour it straight in the middle. And I don't know that 8 ounces is going to feel this. And it don't. I was hoping I wouldn't have to make any more up. So it's probably shy two ounces. This is the way it is looking to me. So I will um, probably just go on and make it up while I'm not online because I told y'all what I put in it. So I'll make it up and I'll put a couple more ounces in and I will see you on demolding day. Let's see. Well, first, let's see. Oh, that's kind of cute. Okay. So far, I can deal with that. Okay. And these are different color lights. They're not all just warm lights or white lights. They're colored lights like you would see on a Christmas tree. Okay. Well, I will see you tomorrow on demolding day. Bye. Hi, it's Amy from Amy's Resin Corner. Okay, I'm going to try to get this out. I did go back and put uh, a little over two ounces in this, and it still didn't completely fill it up. So we're going to see how it uh, turns out. Let's see. Oh, I don't want to break that cord. Roll it. Grab it. And when I put the last color in... I put more, I just put red in it, one of the reds, 
and good lord let me get this and I like the bottom color let's see let me put this back in okay now it is still a little bendy right here So obviously, I'll go back around that with my deburrowing tool. See how dark red it is here? I like that. It's got one little bubble right there. But that is all I see as far as bubbles are concerned let me turn this light out okay I hope you can see that Well, when you look in right here, it looks like there's bubbles in there, but it's on the inside. And I think that absolutely makes it look better. So, there's our piece. And I hope you like it. So, I hope you join me on the next one. Remember, just because you don't like it does not mean someone else won't. And I do want to give shout-outs to Coral Marines Resin Art, Blonda, oh gosh, Blonda, Wanda's Blessed Creations. I'm so sorry I messed up your name, honey. <laughs> there, uh, check them out on YouTube. And these are the little things that have gotten into my, the Japanese ladybugs that have gotten into my building. And I have to keep getting rid of them. <laughs> that I get rid of them, they come back. I get rid of them, they come back. So if you have a solution to that, let me know. I don't have, I have two planter boxes standing up out here. I don't know if there's something I could put in it to make them divert away from here. But they're everywhere. And I went to spray with alcohol to keep them out. And I broke my thing. My sister just uh, gave me this light. But it's not real bright. So I'm going to have to get some batteries for it before I can use it. So thank you all. And I hope you all have a blessed day. And if you could think of something you would like for me to do, even if you if you saw me do it before, uh, let me know. I was thinking about doing another chess board. Trying to see if any of the cords are sticking out. I don't feel any. That one's pretty close, but it's not sticking out. Ugh. Okay, well, thank you. And if you all could just give me a little prayer to get rid of this cold and my family to get rid of their colds, I'd appreciate that. Um, okay, y'all have a blessed week and I will see you later. Bye.